Hi there, so this is a quick video on how to adjust files that have um, tabs that go into your other piece of acrylic or wood or whatever you're cutting. Now a lot of files that you buy from uh, Etsy or um, uh, Glowforge Forum or anywhere uh, you buy SVG files or Adobe Illustrator files, you'll notice that uh, when they're 3D things that you're building, there'll be this little insert area that you need to insert the tab into. And um, well, I found that sometimes the tabs aren't quite the right size and so you have to touch them. I'm using Illustrator here. You can use pretty much any uh, vector-based graphic uh, program. I'm sure Silhouette Studio works pretty much the same. And so uh, this here is gonna insert into this part here and um, I've measured the width of the uh, the acrylic that I'm going to be using to make this little thing and it is uh, 0.226 inches that size is up here uh, now this file was um, created for 0.25 inches and when I first cut it it was too wobbly because obviously that's wider than um, the acrylic itself and even though the acrylic is a quarter of an inch acrylic it wasn't actually a quarter of an inch so what we're going to do here is we're going to unlock the aspect ratio so if we change this now it would also change the height of that um, object as well so we need to make sure we um, don't uh, constrain the height and width um, to the aspect ratio and then we can edit uh, this to whatever we want. So if I change this back to 0.25 and press return, you'll see that box is now jumped wider. And then if I cut it and my acrylic wasn't a quarter of an inch, it's then going to um, wobble about because it's not a nice tight fit. So uh, that's why we need to change that to 0.226. Uh, 0.226 and it will jump down. So we would need to change one, two, three, four of these to, for this particular file that I'm uh, working on here. And that's how easy it is to adjust a file. Then you would just go ahead, save this as a PDF and import it into your, uh, your Glowforge. Please don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel to be notified on other videos.